Track saws are an incredibly efficient tool, equally at home in the workshop as on the job site. Obviously they're great for ripping down long sheet goods, but today I'm going to make a crosscut table that's perfect for cutting down stock that's too big to run across the table saw. I got this idea from a video posted by the German woodworking magazine Holzwerken. You can make this table any size you like, but for my purposes it's going to be 33 inches by 48 inches. I found this to be a great size that allows me plenty of room for most of my cross cutting needs while still being a manageable size. The first thing I do is to rip my piece down to 36 inches. Then I rip off a piece that's one and a half inches. This will become my fence. Here I'm visualizing where I want to place my fence. I want to make sure that I have enough room to the right of the guide rail for my off cuts. When I've got the fence where I want it, I clamp it down, drill pilot holes, and screw it in. Then I take a handsaw and cut off the extra piece of fence hanging over the side. Next I place my guide rail on the table and align it to be perpendicular to the fence. I'm using the factory edges of a piece of plexiglass as a square. I got this idea from the Lost Art Press blog. I checked this piece using the 3-4-5 method just to be sure it was truly square. Once I've got the guide rail where I want it, I secure it with some clamps. I have the fancy guide rail clamps, but you could certainly use any clamps for this. Next I'm going to attach two pieces of wood that will be the guide posts. The fence is going to butt up against these so they have to be perfectly square to the table. Otherwise your guide rail will no longer be square to the fence. Tack them into place with a brad nail. Then I secure it with a couple of screws. As you can see, I'm checking to make sure that the guide posts are squared to the table the whole way. Attach the guide post to the other side and you're done. To use the table, place your piece down. Make sure it's fully butted up against the fence. Place your guide rail on top of the workpiece and make sure that it's butted up against the guide posts. Then just make your cut. Perfect 90 degrees every time, 